Hey friends, uh, welcome to the channel. It's a Saturday. Uh, yesterday, Michelle and I drove down to the big city, ran some hair. We're rolling. Oh, you're rolling? We're rolling now. Excellent. That's why I'm being nice. Okay. <laughs> so we're heading to the big city. Uh, we're going to pick up some new poop boxes. To that big nitwits so I'm just like going down to get supplies to big city and I'm gonna run around doing errands while she does her podcast so you'll see the um, the new poop boxes I'm gonna make this a gigantic on location adventure that's all I got right now okay <laughs> I'm here for you so I'm having there's Oso Oso on what's going on around here uh, what's going on with the um, inspections and permits and all that good stuff so uh, we had our septic inspection and the uh, county came out and we walked through the septic system after we had it pumped which I think was a couple videos ago and basically long story short uh, we need to, or I need to, replace the distribution boxes in the septic system. And so that's one of the reasons why I ran into town. Because one of the few places that makes the boxes anymore out of concrete, which is what the inspector would prefer. Try to do what the inspector prefers. Uh, is in Boring, Oregon, which is um, about an hour and a half or so from here. And so we kind of combined trips. Michelle went and did her podcast with her friend, uh, the Naughty Nitwits. And uh, I ran and got two distribution boxes. All right, so we are at Michael's Precast Concrete in Boring, Oregon. They've been here for 50 years. And they're one of the few manufacturers left, at least in our area, that actually does, um, does precast concrete. Uh, septic tanks and uh, distribution boxes and so got ourselves a couple of boxes and uh, 35 bucks I guess the plastic ones are a lot more money uh, back behind us there they have septic tanks and all kinds of good stuff so 50 year old company still using concrete and it's pretty cool and we got ourselves a couple I did have to submit a permit to do that. And so I had to draw them out, say what materials I was gonna use and all that good stuff. So I did that at the planning department. Um, what else did I do in town? I purchased some uh, galvanized fence posts for my new electrical box. And I got those in today. I'll show you a picture of that. Get a little bit closer then i'll call the electrical guy out and he'll he'll build a bracket put the new box on those new poles and i'll take out the old wooden one and so that's what those metal uh, poles are for uh, what else did i get uh, i uh, found some ammo that was on sale so about a thousand rounds of ammo and um that was a good deal, so I swung by and got some of that also. And I got to see our daughter while we were down there and a couple of coworkers too. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna walk you around and show you a little bit of what I got done today. So you probably remember this metal box. Um, originally, I uh, we got the chipper in it and then I put uh, plastic fencing in it and used it for a chip box. And I just didn't like the way that worked. Um, because the plastic fence really didn't hold up very well. 
and I like the wood boxes better. They're a little bit lighter and easier to maneuver and a little bit smaller. Uh, but anyway, and then it occurred to me to make a cherry picker out of this. So I did uh, kind of finish that up. Uh, Michelle and I took it out today and took some limbs down. She was on the tractor and I was giving her some pointers on operation while I was up in the uh, cherry picker that's attached to the bucket, uh, cutting limbs with the pull saw. So I'm sure it's not OSHA approved and I wouldn't recommend this at home, but uh, it actually worked pretty well. And uh, we were only out there for uh, probably a half hour. <laughs> ground shots I just had the the uh, mount on the tractor which I just added by the way I added a camera mount on the hood of the tractor so I'm hoping that that'll come in handy um, for filming and right here so we'll see how that goes um, take you outside and I'll show you what else we have so these uh, limbs on this on these trees behind me here that are going up the driveway, those are the limbs that uh, Michelle and I are working on today. And I just want to take those up a little bit higher um, because the trailer, uh, when it comes up the driveway, uh, they hang down a little bit. And aesthetically, I want to go up a little bit higher. And I'm actually planning on uh, taking this one tree out that's right over here. It's kind of a smaller one that's in the middle of these bigger ones. And that's kind of in the way, so I'm going to have to probably take that one out. So we didn't limb that one up. But that's the plan on that. Um, but they have these uh, plastic inlets that you cut out and run the pipe through. And uh, they're made out of concrete. There's uh, four holes in them. I'm only going to be using three on each of them. And so my understanding is the one that you're not using, you just leave that one plugged. Uh, they weigh about 90 pounds, and so I'm just kind of waiting for some dry weather, and then we'll uh, go replace the old ones. Uh, the old boxes are kind of falling apart, and uh, I'll probably make a video of me actually doing it because I can't really find any videos of anybody doing it. Everybody uses plastic now. This is the other thing I did today was um, build a riser for the septic tank. And I'll uh, include a picture, I, I think I already did, in the uh, septic tank before it was cleaned. Um, in one of my previous videos, but um, 
the uh, inspector recommended that I build a riser for the uh, man cover. I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Clean out cover for the septic tank. So I need to still uh, build the top for it, obviously. I just threw that on there to keep the rain out. Um, but I had some pressure treated lumber left over, so built that cover like she suge suggested. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. If I'm gonna just build a, try to build a semi-attractive cover for it, or um, I just don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with something. But the, I definitely wanna keep water from going in there. These are the two holes that we, um, that I dug out that have the boxes in them. And this is where the new boxes will go. And it's super soggy down here right now. Uh, you can see that box, the top, the top of it's cracked and it's kind of falling apart where the pipes go in uh, when you lift the lid off of it. They're actually fairly clean inside, which is kind of cool, but um, they need to be replaced. This one over here, she said she'd let me get away with patching it, but she'd prefer it be replaced. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Um, but like I said, I need to dig them out further. And um, that pipe that goes out to the left is kind of flattened a little bit. So I'll probably replace that entire pipe over to uh, the other box over there. So I need to dig this out. Anyway, that's about it. And that's an update on where we're at. Um, probably wait a little bit on the electrical part until we're closer and I got the boxes I need to get some pipe but I have the boxes so I just need to I'd like to get a couple days of dry weather before um, before I go back out here and start digging and I want to finish up that box uh, the riser for the septic tank I just got to come up with an idea I mean, I got different ideas for building a cover, um, using some outdoor wood, and then uh, maybe putting some roofing on it, but I want something that's kind of semi-attractive. Doesn't look really odd you know, sitting out there. So if you have any suggestions on that. Uh, the other idea is, you know, you can plant stuff on it, but the whole point of having that riser is so you don't have to dig up the tank if you need to service it or whatnot. So I also might put some, uh, she suggested uh, a riser pipe for the um, for those runs off of the distribution boxes so that uh, you can look down in them and make sure that they're flowing or see if there's an issue or whatnot. So I'll probably do that as well. Anyway, that's all I got right now. And uh, I'll keep you posted and hopefully I'll be making a video shortly on the replacement of those boxes. So have a good one. Talk to you soon.